Um, so Jamie asked this question. I wonder if you possibly could help us. We have a strip floor about 20 centimeters or 8 inches between two wooden floors. And you can see there's a, what looks like a quarry tile or a break. Who size wood and a strip of tiles, quarry tiles or bricks that sit between the two? And uh, the two floors uh, and one which expands and what I've tried uh, isn't working. Is uh, see attached. It's a mess or a I hope you can help. Okay, so uh, Jamie, what we see here is, um, you would notice first thing is there's the gap you're talking about. I believe this is what you're talking about. Of course, there's a little tiny gap there, but it's not that bad. So you can see there's many attempts being made to fill that gap in. And you also notice that the boards, these boards run this direction and those boards run sideways. Um, it do appear to have to be pine. This is definitely pine. That might be a slightly different timber. I'm not totally sure. Um, so how to deal with fixing this. And if we scroll down, you can see there's a big old gap down the side there. Um, and probably underneath this, you will probably find that there's a, uh, a, a wall that was taken out or something like that. And this is why. So it might be a lounge diner or something like that. It's been opened up and the wall was taken out and they've just put these tiles on top of the wall. Um, so let's see what can be do, done about that. So I remember I said in the photo, you'll notice um, there is two directions. The wood, this wood floor runs that way and that wood floor runs that way with, uh, with, uh, with the tiles in the middle. So basically this, this block moves that way and this block sits this way. So the two are part um, with tiles in the middle. Um, in fact, it's probably a little easier if I uh, do it this way. So let's move a few things around here and then show you. So this um, one floor, one floor will run one way and then the other floor will run the other way. And then you have the, the, the tiles in the middle like that. So this, the grain of this wood runs that way and the grain runs this way here. So the tile is in the middle. And what will happen with uh, wood floors is they expand and contract in, in, in the season. They absorb moisture from the air. And then what we tend to see is in the winter, they dry out because we switch our heating on at home. And uh, that makes the air, air drier, so it absorbs water from everywhere, including the floor. So that means this gap then becomes bigger just here, as you can see. Now, in the summer months, what happens is the, the moisture increase in the home, and this actually starts to move back and close that gap. Now, you might ask yourself, why would it happen on one side, but not the other so much? I do suspect there's a little bit of movement on this side, but it's probably not that much in Jamie's case. Um, so what we will do then is explain why we see this gap first of all, and then we'll talk about how to fix that little challenge. So this opens up because a wood floor will expand in the width, not in the length so much. It will make it maybe go a little bit more this way, but it expands more in the width. And that's why you see that happen. Um, so Jamie, the best thing to do is first of all, make sure that uh, there's support under this hole. So that gap there, I'm not sure if there's something underneath that gap. Um, and then it needs to have support. Otherwise, whatever you fill in there is just gonna fall out like it did here. So make sure that it's all nicely filled. And then um, what we want to do is make sure there's something that's a little bit, it has got a little bit of give in it. So here's what I would suggest we do. Uh, Palman do a lovely, uh, what's called spray cork. This is it, right? So uh, let me give you a little bit of a close up. So this is the product. And what it is, is it cork, right? Like the cork strips you see around the room. But this is in a sort of a liquid format or a gel format, really. And what you do with this is you would use this and insert it in that gap. Now, what I would do, if I'm going to go to a little bit of a close up shot here, if this is the block, let's turn this around and show you better, right? So this is your block and there's a gap that appears and I'm going to make the gap a little bit bigger. This block sits fine, but you've got now a gap there that you want to fill and I'm making this gap bigger than it really is because I want you to see it on the screen. And what I would advise we do is um, make sure, first of all, there's something underneath that supports this, uh, this um, filler that we'll be using in the gap, right? And then what we'll do is take this side, take that side with some masking tape, and then take this filler and we fill that gap, but we fill it a little bit proud, okay? And then we leave it to dry for a few days. And then what we'll do is take us a knife, something like this, right? And what we'll do is make the knife nice, a brand new sharp knife. And what you do is you will then simply trim that and you'll have a gap 
which has got this cork filler but a nice smooth the other usually what we'll do with this is we'll sand it flat but because there's a tile it's so easy to scratch this tile with the sanding machine that that is not really safe to do so I would advise rather use a standard type knife and just cut that flat with the floor and you can get in touch with us Jamie if you want to get some of this filler otherwise give us a call and we can come out and have a look at it for you uh, see how we can possibly help but it's quite important to lift probably that piece of uh, floor the long board and just see if you've got some support underneath 